Uh, I don't see any bangies. Hmm. That was there one. I wasn't sure if that was a bee or a fly. Sound of goober, but. Okay, this is not good, Barrett. Because we don't need to smoke. <sighs> they could just be chilling, yeah. No, how much you want to bet the high beetles got them? Or something like that. So, plenty of ants. Ants. Oh, crap. Is that wax moth? Son of a gun. What about them? Jesus. Oh, mother. What are, what? Son of a gun. Holy crap. Crap. Out again. Me. What is that exactly? All that something was biting me. Uh, kind of gross. Yeah. Well. Some kind of mold or something? It's a moth spirit. It's moth, moth larvae. Man, I've never seen. It even smells weird. I'm just speechless. I don't even know what to say. Was it like first the beetles? And then uh, like the beetles we, 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 you know what? We, could, we controlled the beetles, but you remember that one time in that video, I saw one moth in there. Yes. Yeah, and I, I said, oh, remember the moth? Yeah. The gray one, and I said, oh, that's not, that doesn't look like a wax moth. That was the beginning of it. And you know what? I'm just going to leave these suckers out here to die in the hot sun. They're going to be, they're going to die by hot death. And um, maybe the cows will come over here and tromp on them. Because these frames are wasted and there's no, you wouldn't even want to think about reusing these. So, I'll end up burning all this stuff. I know one thing. I've been bitten more by ants today than I ever was stung by bees. Yeah. Where's the hive tool? I'm getting ready to cut me one in half. Well, shows what I think about him. So, whatever. All right, Barrett, just to get a little satisfaction.
Now let me have the ferro on. <laughs> Got it. I guess all the joking, the, yeah. the humor just went away, didn't it? I think, if you remember, in one of my last videos, I was talking about, you know, taking bees out of nature. And it, that's why we have to take care of them. Well, I'm a victim of my own preaching because I'm not a victim. I'm a guilty, I'm guilty. We uh, have been trying to finish our house for the past month, trying to get moved in because we're paying interest on construction loan. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple of days of rain when we were going to come. All that time, it's been about six weeks, I guess. I'll have to check the video. And the thing is, when you take them out of nature and put them into a box like that out, exposed in the middle of a field or at the edge of a field, they're actually more prone to that kind of thing. You know, when they're in the middle of a tree a log, they can protect themselves better from that. And, you know, even if they crawl up inside someone's house, you know, they pick a pocket that's easier to defend. And that... If you're gonna have a hive like that, it just has to be maintained. So, we'll just have to start again next spring. The thing I'm gonna do next time is, um, I'm not gonna get them, I'm not gonna put them so far away. You know, they're about 20 miles away, and that's what happens. I can't like just check on them in the evenings, just run out and check yeah, on them. Yeah, that's true. You know, which is what really you should do at least once a week if you're going to put them in a box like that. So, especially during the season when the moths are, uh, you know, laying their eggs and all that, whatever. I, I need to study more on moths now. We had kind of conquered the hive beetles, but the, uh, or we knew how to fight them, but the, the moths are a little more sneaky, I think. So, Anyway, let me try to absorb all this. I'm just now, it's just now kind of sinking in. And um, I know there's gonna be a lot of people criticize. Sorry, it just it just happened and I'm gonna to have to get the hive and move it uh, to a better location where I can take care of it better and uh, at least watch it. Cause you know, I knew as soon as we drove up and we didn't see any activity that my fears were uh, verified or whatever. So, anyway, Barrett, you got anything? Nature will do what nature does. Well, that, but that's what I was saying. If they were in a tree somewhere, they might not have been, you know, that's the thing. We took them out of nature, put yeah. them in a box. So, anyway. Uh, I don't think I'll do that again. To at least, at least they obviously got out before you know. Oh yeah, they absconded. None of the bees were actually. I'm pretty harmed. sure the bees absconded, but because there was no, you know, dead bees. I, I imagine there. what happened is they took as much honey with them as they could. Hmm. I don't know how exactly how that works. I need to ask Derek. And uh, but I left all the we left all the frames laying out on the ground so that uh, maybe the birds will pick it out. The other bees will get the wax. I don't know. Put out the fire. <laughs> we put out the fire. Oh, don't laugh. It's not funny. No, I just had to see some of those moths burn. But uh, we we had a jug of water. We put it, put it out there. So, anyway, guys, don't know what else to say. Sorry, bees. I hope you're okay somewhere. I'm pretty sure that 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 I'm pretty sure that we had a a swarm anyway out of that hive because one one day early spring we came and there was there had to be a hundred thousand bees and then the next time we came it was like a normal amount so i'm pretty sure and we saw those queen cells remember yeah so i'm pretty sure that we've contributed to this area to some degree Definitely. <laughs> i don't know whatever i guess i'm trying to make myself feel better it ain't working <laughs> see you guys